Welcome back to Day R Survival Online. Thank you guys for coming along the ride and my journey. We are in Dula now. We came all the way up there from Moscow. And as you can tell, all those X's, yeah, I've looted all those cities along the way. And uh, I've carried a lot of items, as you can tell. So right now I'm just carrying the little simple stuff before I go inside Dula. But check out my inventory. Look at that. So my first thing, my first page are the food. So these are the items that I brought. Look at that, 94 detoxifying potion. I was like, you know what? I need to make sure I get all the potions I can before I leave that area. And the energizing potion, we got 49 and counting actually. Yeah, and you guys asked me, how did I carry all those items? Well, I do it the hard way. I went back and forth, back and forth, at least three or four times, sometimes five, just to get all of my items that I collected so far. All right, so let's continue on our journey. First, it is a new day, so let's get our daily reward. I am working on to get the uh, Black Volga. Hopefully, I can get it eventually. All right, let's collect our reward, daily reward. And we leveled up. Guys, we level up, so let's pick a perk. Let me see here. Um, you know what? Max water seems like a good idea. There we go. Now, we are ready to go. Let's continue on our journey. Let's go inside Dula. All right, let's continue. Number 28 on Krasno Arfmeski Prospect no longer exists. It and all the others within half a kilometer are gone. I found myself in the very center of a giant waste ground, littered with chunks of bricks, concrete, and charred trash. Here and there, pathetic remnants of brick walls and concrete slabs rose up out of the ground. I suppose a nuclear bomb went off here in 1984, right where I'm standing. No one here could have survived it. But maybe Nadaska Gulik had fled the city before the bomb? I need to find out if there are survivors near Dula. Alright, we are going to the survivor base. Alright, let's go on. There we go. If Svetlana and her comrade had taken shelter in the apartment block, then the local survivors had built a whole camp out of crude wooden huts. Judging by the smoke, somebody even managed to build a working stove. There were only two dozens of them in total, mostly women of various ages. Let's ask the locals about Nadashka. In response to my question about Nadashka, Gulik I was directed toward the smallest shack. It looked like luck was on my side this time. One thing worried me though. Why did the locals speak of Nadasha with such mournful expressions on their faces? Ah. Well, let's look around and talk to the locals. The camp leader, Esoda Robertovna, is a war veteran. Under her command, the locals have armed themselves with rifles from the Thula factory and fended off enemies more than a few times. Funnily enough, the only man I saw in the camp, Ignat, was washing laundry. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember Ignat at his stove. Alright, alright. Let's go to Ignat. My attention was drawn to a pale middle-aged man sitting on the wooden stove stool. He was doing the laundry in the tin basin in front of him. Suddenly, he gave out a loud, barking cough, then brought a rough gray rag to his lips. He became aware of my gaze, and his cheeks reddened. What are you doing here? Oh, what are you gawking at? Get lost! I was wondering, maybe you need help with something? I don't. 
I've got a whole camp full of helpers here. They bring me pills and they bring me bowls of hot water to my steam lungs. And when the time comes, they'll cry over me and put me in the ground. The last thing I need is another reminder. You're planning to die? Maybe. I am. Maybe I ain't. It's none of your business. Where did you even come from? Which camp did you blow in from? No camp. I'm a drifter. Abandoned. Then, Ignite coughs again. Nobody else survives in the wasteland. A bandit. You got a smoke on you. With that cough, a cigarette is the last, is the last thing you need. One drag, and you'll be dead. Ignite suddenly gets up and walks towards me. He comes close and spits on the floor at his feet, barely missing my shoes. And what if if I do need it? Ignite's face went gray, breathing heavily. He dropped his head and winced. He went back to his stool and sat, looking at the floor. A minute later, he looked up at me, almost pleadingly. Hey, man, come here. What do you need? I'm going to die here real soon. Here, they just fuss over me, feeding me, dozing me. And I'm like a parasite, just sitting here nothing doing nothing. They did me a big favor today. They let me wash my own rags. They tell me I shouldn't strain myself while I'm sick. So you're tired of it? Man, I was shock worker. The first person in our metal works to earn a title. And then everything went to sh crap. The epidemic took my son. Then the bombs fell. I thought it was all behind me, but no. Now my lungs don't work. My wife is my nurse. She'd spoon feed me if I let her. But I'm not an old man. I'm not even 40. So you're a foundryman. Foundryman fitter. I was even a warrior at one point. I've worked with iron all my life. I got an idea. I'll help you. I'll build you a forge, you know, like you see in villages. With an anvil, a furnace, bellows, you'll be able to continue working with metal. And in exchange, you'll teach me. Ignite's eyes lit up for a second. But then he dropped his head again. I don't know, man. It's been too many years. I've never worked in a country forge. I'd watch my grandpa forging stuff. I won't be able to do it. You do it. What have you? got to lose. If it doesn't work out, you can just go back to your stool and keep clutching at your wife's skirts and begging cigarettes off bandits. I'm going to be a blacksmith like Rams. All right, man, it's a deal. We'll build a forge and I'll teach you what I can remember. And you'll be able to pay back your wife and the rest for taking care of you. But take it easy or else you'll hurt yourself. Seven or eight wooden shacks surrounded by a high palisade. The inhabitants, around 20 people, eat whatever they can fish or hunt. Almost everyone is female, but nobody shirks the dirty work, from repairing an old diesel generator to splitting wood, firewood. All right, let's go to Nadashka. It was cold and dark in the tiny house. On an old mattress leaning against the wall sat a small gray-haired woman. She must be Nadashka Kulik. Another mattress lay against the opposite wall, but there was no one else there. I approached Nadashka. Nadashka, don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. The old, well, prematurely aged, to be precise, women, woman didn't startle. She looks at me distrustfully with her tired gray eyes and doesn't speak. Sorry for, in, for the intrusion. I really need your help. Can you spare me a couple of minutes? Then I'll leave and no bother you again. Who, who are you? Who, what do you want from me? I wanted to ask you something. It's about your husband. Nadashka twitched at the mention of her husband. Then she frowned and turned away from me. Leave. P 
please. Nadashka, hear me out. It's important. The woman's lips quivered. She looked at me in fury. Important? Couldn't you pick a better time? Get out! Retreat toward the door and wait. Nadashka sat completely still for several minutes. Then she stood with difficulty and poured herself some water from a jug. That's when I noticed that there were two mugs on the table. The second mug had a picture of a cartoon line cub on it. A youth magazine peeked out from underneath the pillow on the second mattress. I recall the hostile looks of the camp resident. Could they be involved with Nadashka missing roommate? After drinking some water and calming down slightly, Nadashka turned to me. You haven't left yet? What are you looking at me for? Leave me alone! I just want to help you. If you want to help me, then leave now! Someone close to you is missing. Who? This woman husband with the only thread that could lead me to the truth about events a lot long ago. I had to convince her to talk. Gina, son. What happened to him? Nadasha let out a sob and brought a handkerchief to her nose. A tense silence fell once more. Finally, Nadasha looked at me again. He went missing. He went with one of his friends, Vanilla, to Novmoskov two days ago to get food, but Vanilla came back alone. He, he said the buildings collapsed, that Gina died. I didn't ask for much. I just wanted to bury my son, to look at his face one last time. You know, I asked our people to con- transport his body back, but they refused, said it was too dangerous. They said we have too few men as it is, only three left. And poor Ignat, there was no one who could go. I can find your son's body and bring it to you. Nadashka looked at me skeptically. You? You really do it? Take me to Gina. Yes, I'll bring it. Nadasha was probably struggling to believe that a stranger was willing to help her when the other camp dweller had refused all aid. But she got a grip on herself and then spoke in a whisper. Well, then come back as you... As soon as you can. (coughs) And be careful. Alright, we are gonna go help her son. Right? I think we are. Alright, first of all, let's go to the bunker. Well, hello, traveler. Would you like a rest? Required rifle ammo? What? Okay, I guess we will need rifle ammo later on. All right, so. Searching for truth. Where are we? Oh, we're supposed to go in here. Right? Hold on one second. So this is where we're supposed to go. This is the blacksmith forge that we need for Ignat Forge. But first, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to go down here. But you know what? Let's continue. I kind of want to search in here just to kind of see what's what's going on. So let's go in here. Oh, look at that thread, yeah. All right, so oh, let's open up this nail box. Oh, we got another chainsaw. Man, that's a lot of chainsaw. All right, what's your story? Uh, all right, let's pick all that up. And, ooh, I want to get to open up that weapons box. All right, you know what? We need to oh, fix our radiation right now. I am under radiation hard. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's open this up. I want to see what's inside. Ah, more broken weapons. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, we got a book. 
All right, let's pick all this up and continue on. Nice. All right, let's get that. See what's in here. All right. And the last one. Okay, let's get this and that. I think I don't need any more tires. Do I? Ah, just get it, just in case. Who might, we might never know. All right, let's get all this. You know what, I am getting, I am being water, huh? I'm, my energy is getting low. So, let's try to drink one of our first energizing potion. There we go. Oh, not bad. Hmm. Well, you look at that, a broken AK. Yeah, we needed that actually. All right, so let's go in here. Okay. Now right, let's pick up all that we can from the emergency area, hospital lab. Ooh, you know what? I am not going to disable that yet because we might need it to make some items for sure. All right, let's pick all that up. Now, all that good stuff. Let's get up that chair too, might as well. There we go, we are almost done searching that. And we're gonna search that human skeleton. Oh, a couple of crossbow, huh? All right, get that. And then get that. Let's get that anyways. Ooh, saucepan. Alright, there we go, and search that. Oh, we got some more thread, heck yeah! We are in need of that, actually. Alright, there we go, let's get all this. And uh, let me watch a few ads so that we can get some free stuff. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hopefully something good. Give me some good weapons. Give me uh, food, oil, gasoline. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. That actually is pretty good. That is actually really nice. Oh, man. I am running out of water. Okay, let's drink that. Actually, you know what? I'm hungry, too, huh? There we go. All right, let's open up this. Okay, some vodka. All right, so, mm, let's go on to the school. There we go, pick up that bike. We're gonna need it later on, for sure. Just pick that. Okay, the school in library. All right, let's pick all of that up. Search one more building. And we should be done for this one because we are getting hungry and we got some good old food back home. Because I don't want to be wasting my food carrying. And plus, I am encumbered. Let's drop a few things here. Uh, drop that. There we go. Right, let's go back home. And eat our good old healthy food. There we go. We can probably get rid of our radiation as well. There we go. Kindle that. Let's make some tea. We can probably get it down later on on our next video. So these are some of the items that we have. I can actually break this. All right, that should end it. We're gonna read it on read those books later on. But I'm gonna call the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave that like, comment, or subscribe for some more content of They Are Survival. I'll see you guys next time.